Fifth Wood Theatre is an award-winning theatre company that produces theatre that tour across the country. We also do a lot of work with communities, so we work with young people, um, to devise and develop projects that um, are beneficial to the community and the people taking part. Uh, Hackney Remembers is a project supported by the Heritage Lottery Fund and it's a local heritage project working with local volunteers and children to uncover the first school war in Hackney. We transform their classroom into an office just by using simple signs and we use dramatic conventions, so drama activities. On the 18th of April 1917, boom, the first bomb went out. The tribunal was said to be very interesting as some comments from the fighters were taken badly by the opposition. In a matter of seconds, the ARP officers click clack, click clack. Their freedom and happiness did not exist, not even a drip of hope. Will you not support your country? We're really lucky because we're working with Hackney Museum, Jewish Military Museum and Hackney Archives. Um, and so with all the rich materials and archives from the museum, we are literally able to bring to life the stories of the people um, during World War One. Yeah, So we've been working with nine volunteers across Hackney and they have been doing a sterling job of doing a lot of research at the museums themselves and at archives. Working at Hackney Archives, um, just seeing the little children and working with the uh, key stage two children that came here was absolutely awesome. To see the budding um, historians um, is tremendous. It's important for children to know uh, history about Hackney because they can know uh, how it's actually important history in the area in Hackney for them and for their family. We resist as much as possible telling children all the information. We want them to dig out this information for themselves. So the children have been working in role as experts in curating exhibitions. When the children entered the classroom, we wanted to have it to have the feel of a museum. And it is these small steps that help them get there. So things like putting on the gloves, things like signing their office or naming their enterprise. The Mantle of the Expert is a dramatic inquiry approach to teaching and learning. It aims to put the young people in role as experts and for them to be co-constructors of their own learning. On the surface it seems quite straightforward. We work in an imaginary context, we have a job to do for a client. If we can think like a design team for the next four days, it will really help us complete our job on time and it is a tight deadline. What Friday? This is the deadline. Uh, this Friday, next Friday. Ah, I'd be interested to hear your ideas on colours, so you must be someone who's interested in, in the colours and the graphics. But underneath all that is quite a sophisticated pedagogical approach to teaching. What we're asking them to do is ask questions, draw conclusions, and make connections. The agenda is to inspire them for lifelong learning really, for them to be excited about learning and for them to lead their own learning and be rewarded by that curiosity and not to be so teacher dependent I suppose. The children created a map to represent Hackney during World War I and the other school uh, represented the Western Front, so the trenches during World War I. And as the children are making a 3D map, um, they have responsibility over a, cer a certain part of the map. So for example, on the Hackney map, we imagined when the first bomb hit Hackney and the children were able to go into role and explain where they were when the bomb went off. And when I heard the bomb, I drove, I drove out of the town and I never came back. 
Um, it's great to see how the children adapt their language when they're taking on the different points of view of different people. At one point, we had a uh, we had a tribunal about whether we should go to war or whether they wouldn't and the reasons behind that. Now, the choice was you either fight for the British Army or you go back to Russia. What's the point of just killing someone like daily? They're opting for forgiveness like each night. That's not really showing you're sorry for what you've done. If you if you not fight, then Germany will take it and put you in prison. I don't think that's fair that I'm only allowed to be here if I fight. All these other people were it'd be a difficult decision either way, because we can see in the room kind of half and half, isn't it? Yeah. We use many different drama conventions to suit the work that we're doing and one of those is teacher in role. I was, I was able to represent a Russian lady. We should let the Russian lady be in the room, where should we put her? And I would put this costume on very slowly so the children had permission to stare. The children are able to see her facial expressions. What are we noticing about her? So you think that she could be in a hurry. Why do you think she could be in a hurry? And therefore knew instinctively that they needed to ask her questions sensitively. I suppose when children are so enthusiastic about their role as, as an expert and you've maybe inspired them, I think it really is testament to this method and it just reinforces that we believe this is a really great thing to use in the classroom. During the Hackney Museum visit, the children were allowed to go around and look at the other exhibitions and choose what they really liked about the exhibitions and what they do differently as an exhibition team. Going for these training sessions as experts allowed them a real reason to be there. They were allowed to look at the exhibitions in light of what they would like their exhibition to look like. And they were also able to see how curators do decide on what makes an exhibition and what doesn't. It's magnificent because the children, hey, they're little historians now. They know about their local neighbourhoods, um, what happened during World War I, and we move on from there. The children were so interested in the archives, and when we had the visit there, they thought it was the coolest place on earth. I had a lot of children coming up to me after our visit to the archives, saying that they wanted to be archivists in the future. So it's really amazing when they really engage with it and you feel like you've inspired them for the future. Uh, when you see them adapt and change and, in, and really want to find things out for themselves, that's special. It feels like this project has really brought people together from different spectrums. We've had the volunteers, we've had the children, we've had um, us as practitioners, we've had all the staff at all our partner organisations who've all been on board with this to make it a really great project. Um, a lot of the children, I think, enjoy working as an expert. It gives them a sense of confidence in their learning and there's nothing like confidence to engender success.